if you're new to our channel, my partner Adam and I and our dog Tyler have been traveling around Australia for the last two years part time. So to catch up on all our older episodes and new episodes in the future, make sure you go down the bottom and like and subscribe. Welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam. And in this episode, we've done Kmart, we've done Audi, now we're doing Ikea. Ikea. All right, we're in. It took it's us a while to get here. <laughs> yeah, it did take us a while to get here, didn't it? So we've come to Ikea today to find products that you could use in camping in a tent, camping in a camper van, camping in caravans, any type of camping you can think of, even living in a small home. So things like storage ideas, cooking ideas, um, oh well, cooking equipment ideas, and so much more. So let's head in and let's show you some great ideas. Now, if you're just starting out and you're looking for, um, if you're building your own van, you're looking for furniture, or even if you're just looking for storage ideas, make sure you grab your measurements before you come or come check out the items, measure them up and then take them home before purchasing. Um, they do have these paper measuring tapes, which are awesome. I recommend keeping one in your wallet for future anyway. So they fold up to pretty much nothing and they're nice and flat. All right, Adam's just getting comfortable. But while he's getting comfortable, let's talk about storage. Now, there's plenty of storage in this place. We won't be able to cover everything. But just in here, I can see these baskets. Baskets are great. You can lift them up onto the bench and get your stuff out and then put them back without having to dig down in here. You can pull it out and you can use that as like your washing basket. You could put clothing in it, anything like that. Now, if you're building your own van, this here would be fantastic. So it holds all different types of tubs and all different sizes. So you can change it up depending on what you look you're after, what, um, what size kind of basket you're after. Again, these come straight out. Uh, you'd have to sum up, come, somehow come up with a way to, while you're driving, to keep them in place. So I don't know if that's like a hockey strap or some sort of little clip that comes down to hold it. But otherwise, these would be fantastic. Looks like it'd be easy to build, very cheap. The actual container itself, $5 just for this tub. Look at this tub. It'd be able to hold heaps. Great for clothing, um, vegetables, pantry. Right, I'm liking this idea. We've got something similar in our van that we have that we use these kind of hooks that just hook on and like you can hang a tea towel on it you could hang um some washing on it um pretty much anything that can hang a torch um and you can have them all along along there and look how many hooks are, are in this packet and they're like four dollars something so cheap and uh, great idea now if you've got a cupboard and it doesn't have any shelving in it and you're not too good with DIYs but you've got a pole across the top to hang your clothing this is a fantastic idea this is what I have in our van in one of our cupboards so for $15 you can instantly have cupboards and these ones even come with if you want an actual little fold out drawer or oh, these ones are, so the drawers are 15 this is 20 for this whole thing and it just velcros onto where you'd normally hang your clothing. And then what I did, mine was too long, so I literally just sewed a few of these up, cut them off and just stitched them up. And then it gave me the size that I needed. So this is the same thing that I was talking about for that I use in our cupboard to give us shelving. Um, this one's only 15, it's just a lot more slimmer. So if you've got a slimmer cupboard, you could use one of these. So we're about to go downstairs into the part that I really want to show you. Um, but before we do, of course we've got to stop and have something to eat and drink. Adam, straight to desserts. So bad. What do you got? Oh, there's plenty. There's plenty. There's so many to pick from. All right, so Adam ended up with the carrot cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you know, you had to stop. It. Stop the Swedish restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, if you're setting up your van from scratch, they've got plenty of things, including. I want to recommend getting yeah. things in miniature or smaller size, like tongs, chopping boards, 
things like that, because they take up the same amount of space, but they still perform the same function. So you get that way you get more in your van with your limited space. I'm going to go through every single kitchen item because there is so much here to choose from. And like I said, if you're starting from scratch, great place to come, but you can get a lot of individual stuff. And you don't need every single thing from your kitchen, you just need one or two of everything. Um, but when it comes to bowls and plates, that's a different story. I always suggest getting a few extra uh because that way if you have dirty dishes and you don't feel like doing them you can always uh use your other dishes the thing we have learned on the road is we did buy a cheap knife set make sure you got at least one really good knife well another thing adam and i have done we've brought our own a uh, few different containers for our van that stay in our van. Now, what we did was we made sure they look different to our ones that we have in our house. So that way, if we do bring stuff in from the fridge that we've got leftovers when we've been away, after we've washed them, we can identify them and put them straight back in the van for next time. You definitely want something that seals very well when it is in the fridge, so you don't get leakage in your fridge, in your camper van or caravan. How cute are these? We're not buying these today, but aren't they, aren't they just cute, the cutest? Little moose pastas. Now, trays can be very useful. So if you haven't got much bench space, you can always use a tray on the side of your bed, couch, um, or sofa, whatever you've, wherever you've got a space, if it's soft and you can't put things on it, buy yourself a tray and that'll give you more bench space just to get things ready or prepare things when you're cooking. It's always a good idea. If you're not like a good pillow, but you haven't got much room in your van, these are great. They're only a small size, but at the same time, they have the neck support, so they've got the smaller side, the larger side, depending on how much support you want underneath your neck. And they're only $10, pretty cheap, and you just cover them with a normal slip and then tuck it under, and that'll be fine. Like I was saying before, hooks, hooks, hooks. Can't get enough of them in caravan vans. So I found these. These actually work by suction. And you can stick them on pretty much all your soft uh, flat surfaces in your van. And you've got different colors. So if you've got kids, they could pick a color and have their own hook for the towel. So remember what towel's theirs. Most unimportant thing in this shop that Adam's gonna kill me for putting this in, but you have gotta have a bit of mood lighting. I mean, check all this out. It's cool. Have you seen our videos when I put these up? It looks pretty cool. You can't be a true van lifer unless you've got some fairy lights. When it comes to storage, like we've said in the episode already, there is just so much choice. So make sure you've got your measuring tape, like I said before, and really make sure you find the right size to fit the area you want it. So you're utilizing the whole space and even with trying not to go tapered because you're losing that, that bit of space. It, like, it might seem like not much, a centimeter or two, but trust me in the scheme of things, when you're in such a small space, uh, every centimeter counts. I haven't quite found the one, the exact one we want, but they do have a pretty small shovel and brush. These are really important. You need a good shovel and brush in your van, but you don't want a big bulky thing that's gonna take up heaps of room for so three dollars. You can get one of these. Five dollar collapsible bowl. Anything that collapses and makes more room, that's what we like. So more fun hook ideas, including these that fold up to nothing when you're not using them, but then you can get them out when you want them. I know there's a lot of caravans these days that have the beds that go up um, and you want storage underneath them. These are a great idea because they fold down to nothing. They're very light, but you can separate your clothes or different items in them. So um, yeah, another great idea, uh, especially like I said, if you've got a bed and you've got the room underneath it, but you want to keep your stuff separated, uh, great idea. And to even a better price. So if you like Adam and I, you might want to get yourself a bit of greenery. Pop that inside your van and make yourself look like a real, you know, van lifer with your fake plan. <laughs> Check this out, $5 for this mirror. And um, like, if you don't have much space, you can always join, like you can have one like this, or you can join it up if you've got more space and have two. Or if you've got heaps of space, you could have them going all the way down. But these are only like plastic. They're so soft, they're light, and they come with the adhesive. So you can stick them straight onto a flat surface. Also, if you've got somewhere to hang this on a kid's bed, um, they do have a bit of storage solutions like this, which are great. And again, very lightweight. I had to come all the way back. I had to go against all the arrows 
to get back here and I wasn't sure about to get in trouble because I was going against the grain, you know. Um, I'm going against, going against the arrow, that is. Um, but I had to come back and show you these. These is what we brought when we lined our, a little bit different actually, but same deal, um, our, our, all our covers with. Just so it's a bit of grip, so things don't move around as much. Um, and you just cut it down to size. So this is it here. And uh, $5 for a roll. Also got these collapsible baskets, which are really nice and thin, which if you had a space, not everyone would, but you could use this as a bin. Um, and if you are someone who still uses plastic bags, um, which I don't think many people do, these are designed for that. You can pop plastic bags in there and pull them out whenever you needed them. Well, guys, that's it for this episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do go like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. And guys, please leave a comment down there. We answer back to everybody. So get down there if you've got any questions, we can answer them. We do have all our merch on sale. We've got mugs, we've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies and so much more. We've even got Twyla cushions. Yeah, you heard me. So to check all that out, just go to the link below and uh, you can buy our merch. And until next Sunday, we will see you then. Thanks guys.